Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing CO2 from Vita Lacerda, who's the designer of The Gallerist, Kanban, Vinos, Escape Plan. This is one of his earlier games and this is the original version. It's going to come out in a new edition called Second Chance, I think, at Essen this year. For now, this is the standard version. I'm playing a two-player game of it because the original didn't have uh, solo rules, by the way, for the people that like my uh, Vita Lacerda solo uh, videos. Uh, the second chance version will have that, so when that comes out, you'll have yourself a lovely solo video, hopefully. Anyway, I'd recommend you turn on click on subtitles in case you haven't already, in case I make any mistakes. Let's go. So this is a game where we are in charge of building power plants for the world. We start off in the 1970s and we'll be going all the way up to the 2010s decade and in a five player game you'd go up to the 2020s. I think it's a five player game. I don't know. In a two player game anyway, you stop right there. So we are tasked with proposing, installing and constructing power plants to satisfy the energy needs of the various continents around the world. They've got different requirements for the kind of power plants they would like the most and that they would accept. You can only build certain types in uh, certain locations and we will be trying to increase our expertise in various forms of energy. We will be doing the various stages of power plants and uh, there's a kind of a an unusual thing in the game that the, the things you build and the things you propose aren't yours. Anybody can do the, there are three stages to construct a power plant. You need to propose it first, then somebody needs to install the project, and then finally the power plant gets built. Anybody can do any stage of that project. It's, it's not yours until uh, the final thing is built. You get the credit for actually constructing it, but you get bonuses for doing the various stages along the way, whether you did them all or not. So, I'm playing a two-player game today against Little Glass Marty, and not much changes for a two-player game, apart from the last bit of setup that I need to do, that I totally didn't forget, I meant to do this on camera. We need to draw a random fossil fuel power plant for each continent of the world, and then increase the pollution level of the world as well. Because this is a, well, it's not semi-cooperative, it kind of is. <laughs> we are kind of, we're working on our own, we want to, do the most to help the world, get the most points, get the most recognition for all of our lovely power plant work. But also, if we don't manage to build power plants in all of these places, and we won't every single round, we can't build a power plant everywhere in the time that we have every single decade. When we can't, new fossil fuel plants will get built instead by rivals that don't really care as much about the environment, and the pollution level of the world will go up. So we can count this now. We've got 40 here, 60, 100, 140, 170, 200 parts per million of CO2. And if this ever reaches 500, all the way behind this stack of CEPs here, if this ever reaches 500, the game's over. We all lose because, you know, the, the planet loses. We all lose in that situation. And if it gets above 350, bad events will start happening as well. Uh, but for now, we are at 200, so as long as we can do our jobs effectively, the world won't end. If we are selfish about it and maybe don't distribute our construction across the world, then, yeah, the pollution levels will keep rising and bad things will keep happening and we may just lose the game if we can't come to some agreements. You see, it's like things happen in real life. And yes, they do happen. They're not looking for debates in the comments. Uh, so... In the game, we start off with a secret goal for our companies. Mine is to get as many of these UN goal cards as I can. I will get three points for every one that I have at the end of the game to a maximum of 15. There are only seven in a two-player game. I'm playing against Little Glass Marty, and he is looking for the most... He's, he's looking to be in the lead on the most of these expertise tracks. So for everyone he's in the lead on, he will get four points to a maximum of 16. We can at any point turn our goals in for eight money. If we decide that we haven't done enough or we just desperately need the money right now to get something done, we can choose to yeah forfeit them and just grab that money right away. We also have five lobby cards. Now we never get any more of these. This is the entire game. And these work in a way where if we satisfy a certain thing, so this is the symbol for proposing a project. If I propose a project in South America, I can turn this in and get $3. Or at any point, I can turn this in and get myself a resource cube. 
but we'll get on to more of the intricacies and things as we go on. So hopefully, if you don't know anything about the game, I will be teaching it as we go. So hopefully you'll get a good idea of whether you'd like to know more about the game. So we start off with the supply phase, we get income. Now we don't get this in the first round because your income is based on where you are on each of these tracks. And at the start of the game, we aren't anywhere on them. So there's no income for the very start. Then the supply energy. If the regions have any of those tech resource cubes, they will spend one. Uh, and then every region that can't satisfy its energy requirements, and you work that out by, we're in decade one, each region needs one power plant. In decade two, each one needs two. For every region that doesn't meet that requirement, a new fossil fuel plant comes out. Obviously at the start of the game, every region has one of the fossil fuel plants, so we don't need to do that at the start. Then there's resolve an event. If the CO2 level is below 350, nothing happens. Later on, things will happen based on these cards that are out, but we can leave that for now. So on your turn, you have to do an action, precisely one action, and your action will either be propose a project, propose a new power plant, install a project that's been proposed already, or construct a power plant that has been installed. So there's three steps towards getting the power plants finally built and anyone can do any of these three steps. Obviously, since I'm the first player, I start off with a little bit less money. I start off with three and Marty has four. Uh, I started off with a bit less, but I'm first. So I will have to propose a project because I can't do the others because nothing's out yet. So I have my choice of which to construct. And let's see if I can remember them right now. It's recycling, biomass, cold fusion, solar, and forestation. I think that's right. Uh, anyway, so I can choose from them. And the, the things that I would want to go into my decision kind of happen later on. Right now, I can pick any of these. It costs me nothing to propose a project. And I pick which continent I'm going to propose it in and put it in one of the three proposal spaces. And I'll get a reward based on which space I put it in. I'll either get money equal to the number of CEPs these are carbon emission permits in the region. Or I can get myself two of those resource cubes, which you will need to actually build the power plants in the final step. Or I can get myself another scientist. I only start the game with one, and you can give yourself a lot more flexibility if you get more of them. So what's going into the decision of which power plant I should build? Well, for a start, each region has a kind of ranking of what which power plants they would like the most to the least. And you can only build one of these three kinds in that particular region. They're not interested in other forms of power. Also, our lobby cards will give us re rewards and rewards for certain things. Like I will get a reward for building in South America. So that's something I maybe want to do first. And they want either solar, cold fusion or recycling. I can get myself a reward for constructing, doing the final step on recycling or solar. I can get a little reward for sending a scientist to recycling as well, which maybe I want a recycling project on the go. There's also these UN goal cards as well. These are different every game. And in this one, the, the easiest one to get hold of, you have to have built a power plant of each of these types before you can claim one of these cards. The easiest one that only has two types on it, biomass and recycling. Maybe I want to go for one of those first. Altogether, that tells me that I kind of want to build a recycling plant because of all of these recycling uh, things I've got going for me in South America because of that card that I've got. Can I do that? Yes, they're happy with recycling. So I think I'm going to propose a recycling power plant in South America. And what would I like? I could get myself three money, which is useful because later on, if I want to actually build this power plant, it's going to cost me seven. I'm get myself some tech resource cubes because I'm going to need those as well. Or another scientist. I think since I've got none, I'm going to get myself two tech resource cubes by putting it there. And I grab two of the cubes, so I've got those now. I've done my main action as well as your main action, and you don't have to do them after your main action. You get free moves. There are three different free moves. You can do them in any order at any time on your turn, but you can only do each one once. So there are cards. I can play a lobby card or I can pay a resource cube to grab a UN goal card. So I think it's time to do that. I have proposed a project, that's the symbol for propose a project, in South America. So I'm going to get myself $3. And I could have saved this and I can, I, I can hand in any of them for their bottom reward if I want. But I'm going to get myself $3 right now. 
scientist, I can move one either from my hand to a project, from a project to another project, or from a project to one of the summits we've got going on. But we won't be doing that just yet. There are several summits happening around the world to discuss these new forms of energy. And if uh, I have had a scientist that's been working on a type of energy, that's been researching that type of energy, I can send them to a conference to talk, to give a talk about it uh, and get some expertise and uh, hopefully some, uh, some benefits from doing that. So I am going to move a scientist from my hand to a project. And the last thing that you can do is visit the market. You can either buy a CEP, they start the game costing three each, or you can sell a CEP to the market. We start with two in our hand and they would sell for three as well. If you do sell one though, the price is then reduced. I do have a card that would like me to sell a CEP and then I can have $3 as a reward. But since I've already done a card, I would have to wait for a future turn to be able to do that. Finally, at the end of your turn, you get expertise. You can choose a project with a scientist on it, with one of your scientists on, of course, and you get an expertise in that energy type. Now, at the start of the game, I only have one scientist on one type of energy, so I'm gonna get some expertise in recycling. So I take one of my discs and put it on the recycling track and I am now gonna get myself at least one income if I am in the lead on this track at the start of the next decade. But now I have the ability to construct recycling power plants. You don't get to do that just anyway. You can't just leap into other people's projects straight off the bat. You have to have done some research to be able to actually build the power plants. And now I can do that. So next up we have Marty and he can see everything that I saw. He can't see my cards but he can see that I'm probably going for that UN goal. He isn't as driven to them as me because I get extra points for all of the ones that I've got. Let's see what cards he started with. He wants to propose things in Asia or North America, and he wants to be the person constructing biomass or nuclear. And he wants to send someone off to talk about forestation. So what would he like to do? Now he can install the project that I proposed. And if he did so, he would get himself... Oh, this goes the other way around, by the way. That's going to be a subtitle. I told you to turn them on. <laughs> they get, they get uh, proposed that way, then installed this way. When you install them, you get $5 and a CEP. Now, it's different for each type of power plant, but for recycling, that's what you would get. So if he did that, he can see that these cost $7. Two, three, four, five, six. I wouldn't be able to construct the recycling plant. On the other hand though, I can always sell a CEP and get the money that way. Because what you can do is, if Marty chose to install this project, he could boot my scientist off for a dollar. I get a little benefit. I can move him somewhere useful if I want to. And then he gets the benefits from installing the project. I think he's gonna go for his biomass project then. He's, he wants biomasses for that UN goal and he has a lobby card to construct it. So do Asia or North America want biomass? Asia does, it's their least requested, but they will take it. North America doesn't. So he's gonna propose biomass in Asia. Now, what would he like? I think Asia starts the game with the most CEPs because you get a CEP for every blank space they've got here. So I think he's gonna take the money, which is gonna be five. He's then going to play one of his cards and get an extra three. So he's now got a lot of money, he's got 12. We've each had a turn, so we move this along. And yeah, in each decade, in a two player game, each player gets five turns, because this starts further along depending on the number of players. So we move on to turn two now. Marty's also gonna send his scientist to his power plant, and he's gonna get an expertise in biomass. And he can now construct those power plants. My turn then, and I think I'm gonna jump in on Marty's power plant. I could, you know, install this and carry on with what I want to get done. But I, I see an opportunity here. I am going to, I'm going to install this project. Now, since it's got Marty's scientist on it, I need to pay Marty a dollar to move his scientist off. So he's gained a dollar from me. And now he can move this to another project, but there isn't one that he can move to. Or he can send the scientist straight to one of these conferences. And I think he's gonna do that. So let's see. I think he's going to send him to Essen here because either either my scientist is going to end up here and we'll 
both get some benefit from that. Or he wants to build a recycling as well to go to the UN card. So he's gonna go straight to S and there. To install a project, you need to pay a CEP. Now, CEPs can come from your hand or from regions you control. You don't start controlling regions though until you've actually constructed some power plants. So a CEP needs to come from my hand and we flip the tile and receive the benefits. So for a biomass plant, I get $3, a tech cube and a CEP. So I get my $3. There's my tech cube, and whenever you gain CEPs in this game, they always come from the market here, and things change when the market runs out of CEPs. The only time CEPs come from somewhere other than the market is if the market runs out, then they come from the bank, and you always pay them to the bank unless you're selling them to the market. Now, I could sell a CEP and get three extra dollars, but I think, I think I'd like to wait on that. Yeah, maybe the price will go up as the game goes on, so I think I'll hold off on that for now. Or is it tempting, and this is quite tempting, I'll tell you now, that uh, I could just hand this right in and get the scientist, and then I could send my new scientist over to that spare one rather than moving him off this. Because if he's moved off that, Marty can carry on with this without having to pay me anything. So yeah, I'm going to turn this in, not for its actual effect, but to get myself a second scientist. And then for my free scientist action, I'm gonna move one from my hand to a project. I'm not gonna do anything with CEPs at the market. And at the end of my turn, I get an expertise and I can choose from recycling or biomass. I'm going to choose biomass now because Marty now has the risk of me constructing that power plant and not him. Marty's turn and he knows that I can afford two, four, six, eight. I can nearly afford to build uh, that power plant, but then I wouldn't be able to build my own. Marty's rolling in the money, but he hasn't got any cubes and he's gonna need one if he wants to build a biomass power plant. So I think either way, he's going to have to pay me to get rid of a scientist from one of my things. Surely he's not gonna leave me to it. He's going to discard his nuclear construction bonus and get the cube from it. But if he does that, he can't hand in his, get extra $3 for doing the biomass because he will already have done a, a project. So that was actually quite a good move from me. <laughs> I just expected it to be that good because, uh, yeah, well, I, I don't know how good it is because I don't know about the cards Marty's got. He's going to just have to forego that extra three, I think, because he can't afford to just let me get ahead on both of these things because he could do the next stage of this, but he hasn't got a scientist to put, it, to put down on here to get the expertise in recycling so that he would actually be a threat and be able to build that power plant. So he's going to discard this and get a cube and he's gonna give me a dollar, so I need to, so I, I can now take my scientist back into my hand and get an expertise, or I can send him to one of the conferences. And yeah, right now I'm gonna take him back and get some expertise. You wanna be in the lead on those tracks to get some good income. So now Marty is gonna do some construction. So you need to pay for the power plant. You take the one off the top of the stack, it costs $9 and one tech resource cube. So nine for Marty, he's still got eight. And a tech resource cube. If it was full, you would discard the oldest pollutive plant, but we haven't got that. I should, I should uh, yeah, I'm kind of doing this symmetrical so I can see it the best, but I should, I should be kind of uniform in how I do that, shouldn't I? Yeah, the leftmost one to me. Because usually, you know, you'd be all around the table and this would be the leftmost one. But I'm messing around with it for my own comfort. How does that grab you? Anyway, this, uh, so yeah, you would clear out the oldest one if the region was full, but this region isn't. So you place the new power plant. You put one of your discs on to show your ownership. You claim points. It says in the corner there, six points. So Marty is the first one on the board there. And you get an expertise in that type of energy. So he's caught right up. Then the project goes back to the pool and you check to see who controls the region. So the first thing you do to check, the most types of energy sources wins. And Marty has one type to mine on. So he is now in control of Asia. So he can now, when he needs to spend CEPs, he can spend them from Asia because you know they're very happy that he's helping out with their energy needs. At the same time though, if fossil fuel plants need to be put out in Asia in the future, Marty's the person that needs to pay for them. So he has constructed, he's played a card, 
He can't move a scientist because his only scientist is waiting on there. And does he want to visit the market? He could sell a CEP right now for $4. I don't think he's going to do that just yet. Okay, expertise. He hasn't got a scientist on a project, so he can't get any. And we move on to the third turn of the decade. I think I'm going to install my own project now. So I flip it over. We don't need to do anything with the scientist because it's mine. I get $5 and a CEP. Now, when the CEPs in the middle run out, you see there's a little stop written there. You refill them from the bank. This is the only time that you take the CEPs from the bank and the price goes up. Anytime we're paying CEPs, they come from our hands or the regions we control and going to the bank. And anytime we gain CEPs, they come from that bank. That's how the bank just got emptied. Expertise, I've just got one scientist there, so I get another recycling expertise, which isn't a bad thing. And we go on to Marty's turn. So he doesn't have the expertise. I know that he can't uh, swoop in front of me there, but he is going to instead propose a new recycling project, I think, and try and get ahead of me. North America is one that he wants to propose things in and they would be happy with recycling, so he's gonna propose one here. He needs everything. He needs cubes and money and scientists. He's gonna get the scientist first because at the moment, he's only got one scientist and he's just waiting to speak at this conference. So yeah, he's gonna get a new scientist and plop him there. And at the end of his turn, he gets an expertise. So he is going up there and now he can build that project. So I basically have to do that or Marty's gonna swoop in. So it's the fourth turn and yes, I'm gonna do that. So to construct, I need to pay for the power plant. The cheapest recycling is $7 and one tech resource cube, place it over here. I claim ownership of the plant itself. I am in control of the region and I get five points. So I'm now on the track a little bit behind Marty and I get myself an expertise in recycling again and the project goes back to the pool. So yeah, I've, ideally, I would have liked to propose something else so that I could have a scientist somewhere so I get the extra expertise at the end of my turn. So I keep doing that. And for his card, Marty proposed something in North America, so he's gonna get himself $3. My scientist is gonna to move to the summit type of the same project. It's helping out Marty a little bit, but I'm gonna get equal things from it. So I would like it to happen, I think. Although leaving his scientist stranded there is quite appealing. Cards, I just constructed a recycling plan, so I'm gonna get myself $3. So I am pretty much set up to start building, to go for the biomass. I don't know if I can be fast enough about it, really. Okay, at the end of the turn, we check and see if any summits are full up. And so Essen has both of the speakers that it needs. So each scientist that got sent there earns the player one expertise in each of these uh, things. So Marty earns one in biomass. I earn one in recycling. And whenever you hit a symbol on here, you get a reward. So I get myself one in cold fusion now. So I can start on that track. And as a bonus, each company that sent scientists, so each of us gets to pick either expertise to take. So I am first, I think, I think I would like, I would like biomass. To stay in the lead, Marty's gonna take biomass as well, and he gets himself one in solar energy. And our scientists come back to us. We refill now, and we've got a nice little talk in Stockholm. So Marty's turn. He wants to install that, but he can see I've got the cubes, I've got CEPs, I've got money. I could just build the power plant from underneath him and then he's no better off. So he kind of needs to stall a little bit. He's gonna propose something new then. He's gonna propose... <sighs> see, he knows that I'm probably gonna leap in on any of these things. He's gonna propose some forestation. So where wants that? He could do Africa. He could do Asia again, but Asia has, he's in control of it already and it's already got a power plant. Oceania would be a good place to have it. 
or he could propose it in North America as well, really hope that they get some power. I think he's going to propose it in Oceania. So which bonus does he want? I don't think he wants another scientist right now. He could do with two cubes. He could do with three money, but I think he's going to go for the cubes. So he gets two tech resource cubes, and he is going to place one of his scientists on there. So he has the choice. Does he want some nuclear knowledge or some forestation? I think it takes three steps to even be able to build a, a plant like this. So he's going to take the three steps there. Last action of the decade. So really, we want things built. Because the world is going to... Yeah, the world is going to get a lot worse if we don't build things. So we can be selfish and try and work towards our goals and towards winning the game. Or I can install one of Marty's projects and hope that he can finish it. I can see, though, that he's got six money. So what is he actually going to do? Unless he builds the... Unless I let... Because he can get some money from this, maybe. I could hope that he gets some money, install this, and hope that he constructs it so we don't have to have too many fossil fuel plants. But I think... As risky as it might be, I think I'm going to be selfish because I don't want Marty claiming that goal. These are the kind of decisions you need to make because potentially, you know, 40 is the worst that the fossil fuel plant could be, the coal plants. Potentially, we could be getting one, two, three, four, five of those out there, which wouldn't be, the game wouldn't end, but it would put us in a terrible position, being at 400 in the second decade of the game. Having said that, though, that's what I'm doing. I'm being selfish. So I have everything I need, really. I have loads of scientists. I have loads of money. Where do I want to propose this? I think Europe would be okay. I could get myself some more money. Or a new scientist or something for later. No, I'm going to... I'm going to get some money. So one, two, three, four because that's how many CEPs are in Europe. I'm going to put my scientist on, and I'm going to go up on this track, and now I get myself on the solar as well. So that's worked out well, because you want to be in the lead on these tracks to get income. Now, Marty is first player next time. And maybe I should have thought about this. Marty will be first player <laughs> in the second decade, so he's basically getting two turns in a row now. So... Yeah, I, sh I should have been less selfish and I could have gotten in on this. He's going to install his own project, get himself $5 and a CEP. Although he did have to pay a CEP to be able to do that. Luckily for him, though, he's in control of Asia. He can pay from their stack because these are all going to get turned into money at the end if you can accumulate a load in your hand. Although you will get the ones that are remain on regions you control at the end. But, you know, region control can change from turn to turn. So at the end of the decade, we move this along. We go back to the start here. Marty's going to be the first player. And we start the new decade. So we start out with income. So it says on the player aid, first and second place in each energy source. That's for other player counts. In two players, it's only the person who is in the lead on each track. So Marty's in the lead here, but you see the number zero. So he gets zero income from that. He's in the lead on this track and this track. Although this is another zero. So he's getting three income. And you can get that as money or points as you wish. I think he is going to get... He's going to get three money. That's going to be more useful to him, I think. Me, on the other hand, Ty's count as being in the lead as well. I'm in the lead on two, so I'm going to get six. I think I'm going to take a little mixture. Three money. One, two, three points. Next, supply energy. None of the regions have tech cubes in there. But each region that hasn't met its energy demands, which is a lot of regions, isn't it? Because of, uh, well, my selfishness. More than Marty's, I had the deciding uh, vote near the end. So we get 30 more in Europe. 10, 20, 30. Fine in South America. North America, another 30. Two, three. Oceania gets 20. One, two. Asia is fine. Africa is a 40. One, two, three, four. So we're at 320. So events aren't quite happening just yet. So we can go on to the turns. Marty's turn. 
he is going to obviously construct his uh, recycling plant here. It's going to cost him $7 and a cube, but he's got a lot of money and a couple of cubes. Uh, it's not full, so we don't discard anything. Place the new power plants and claim ownership of it. So he puts his disc on there. He gets points, five points, one, two, three, four, five, and an expertise. Return the project to the pool and check region control. He is now in control of North America. Oh, and by the way, he would send his scientist off to a conference. The only recycling one is this one in Munich here. And at the end of his turn, he can claim an expertise in forestation. Oh, he hasn't played a card as well, by the way. He's gonna spend a cube because that's what you need to do to be able to claim a UN goal card. He's gotten there first. And he gets four points for getting that card. So my turn, what am I gonna do? I think I'm just gonna keep it simple and install my own project for now. I'm gonna get myself $3 and a cube and a CEP, which is the last one in the market. Price goes up, two new ones come from the bank. And we move on to the second turn. Now what's Marty gonna do? He, he would like to get nuclear built. He would kind of like that anyway. That, that kind of moves off his plan here. He would like forestation built as well. That would be nice, but not essential. He could start nuclear. Cold fusion. See, if I keep saying cold fusion, there's less risk of me saying nuclear. But hopefully that won't happen. I'll just edit it out anyway. You'll never know. I'm a genius. Nuclear, nuclear, nuclear. So where will he pro propose this? <laughs> I forgot the word a little bit. Uh, he can propose it in North America, but he's already in control there. He could try and wrestle South America from me. Yeah, he's going to do that. He's going to... So what reward does he want? Three dollars, two cubes, or a little man. He'll have cubes. He's got no cubes. And so he gets two of them. And his scientist... He hasn't got a scientist. So does this change his decision? Yes, it does. He's getting a scientist instead. Because he doesn't want to move one off there. Although he does want to try and get some expertise in nuclear, doesn't he? I think he's going to... This turn he's going to take the expertise in forestation because now he doesn't care if he gets kicked off it because he's got the power to build the plants now. Okay, did he want to... He doesn't want to play a card or anything. He could sell CEPs, get himself $5. Yeah, I think he's going to do that. He's going to sell a CEP to the bank. He's going to get himself five money. So now all he needs is the cubes to be able to start power planting. My turn, and I see what's happening here. I think I'm going to swoop in and pay a dollar. I'm going to pay a CEP from a region I control. It's going to come from South America, in fact. I'm going to kick Marty off there and put my scientist on because I am going to install the project. I get myself $5 in a cube. $5 cube, which is what Marty hoped to do, but that's what you've always got to keep thinking about is, yes, anybody can step in on the project and do something. Marty can take this back and get an expertise in nuclear, or does he want to send... Oh, he definitely wants to send him off. Here we go. So yeah, I might have shot myself in the foot here, or maybe Marty played a genius move. So do I want to do anything else? I... I've, pro I've already done this, haven't I? I probably should have played that a long time ago. I haven't got anything to do in terms of cards and things, I don't think. I've done scientists. Oh, what do I want my expertise in? Biomass some more, or nuclear? I think we'll take nuclear right now because I can build the plant then. And the conference, unfortunately, Marty is getting a cold fusion, a recycling, and then one of his choice, he's going to go for the recycling because it gets him a cold fusion. So now he can build them as well. Turn three, Marty gets his scientist back. Oh, and Munich isn't looking for another conference right now. It's in Roma. So very fortunately for me, nuclear needs two cubes. Marty has none. He could get rid of this card to get one, but yeah, needs two. So he could, 
He could propose something new. He could always propose another one. He's going to propose one in Europe to get his two cubes. And that's the best type in Europe. So if we both get our power plants built here, assuming that I build my biomass and he builds his cold fusion, he would have control of Europe. He gets his two cubes from doing that. He's put a scientist on there. So does he want forestation or some more cold fusion? I think he's going to keep going for forestation. For my turn, I think I'm going to build my nuclear. Yeah, it's going to cost nine. So five, nine and two cubes. That's going out there. I get myself seven points. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a knowledge. And I'm still in control of the region and my scientists can be sent off to science camp in Stockholm or New York. I think New York because I've got another scientist that could be sent off if I want to do that. Okay, turn four then. What's Marty doing? Now he could keep working on his nuclear, but I think he's going to put a stop to my... He wants to put a stop to my biomass so I can't start swooping in on these cards but if he does that i'll be able to send the scientist to the summit there i think he's actually going to install his forestation plant all the way up here he gets himself two ceps not three but he needs to pay one it will come from a region he controls my turn i'm going to build the biomass plant then i need to pay a cube and nine dollars so that's a lot, of, a lot of my money now. I've gotten a lot out of it. I can place that down here and put one of my cubes out. Six points, two, three, four, five, six. And what else? A, an expertise. Oh, Marty should have had an expertise, shouldn't he, in one of his things. I think he is going to go for nuclear to try and catch up. Expertise goes in biomass for me. And region control is me as well. And I'm sending my scientist off to New York. Although I'm now not getting an expertise for the end of turn. At the summit, I'm going to get myself a fusion and a biomass, which gets me a forestation. And then one of either. I am going to go on here because it gets me a cube. Oh, and... So what does that give me now? I think that gives me, yep, nuclear, recycling, and biomass. I'm going to claim this with one of my cubes and get myself five points. Three, four, five. Okay, final turn of the decade. Oh, we need a new summit, don't we? It's going to be in Moscow, and they want a lot of topics discussed indeed. I've just knocked all of my desks over. What's Marty doing? He can build his forestation thing, can he? I think he can just about afford it and prevent more damage to the planet, but he wouldn't be able to claim the card he wants just yet. You can claim it in the future, though. I think for now, maybe just to stop me swooping in, he's going to install this himself. So he's going to pay from a region he controls. And he gets himself $5 and a cube, which he is in need of if he wants to build a forestry plant because they need three tech resource cubes. He can have some fusion or some forestation expertise. Neither one benefits him that much. He's behind on all of these things. Yeah, I'm getting some really good income next turn. He's gonna get a CEP onto a region he controls. I think that one's safe. Price is going up and two new ones are coming from here. And it's my last turn. I would love to build that, that power plant here. It would take nine though, and I've got three, six. I could do it if I'm willing to sacrifice this card to get the cube and then sell a CEP to get the money. And then it stops Marty being able to swoop in and take my power plants off me. And yeah, maybe Marty shouldn't have done that because he wants to do this card, but yeah, he pro probably thought, well, he's not, he's not gonna go crazy. Is he gonna do all of these things? It looks like I am. See, I'm going to do it. I'm going to turn that card in to get myself a cube. And then I'm going to... But this, this isn't actually helping any region get a power plant. 
selfish again. So we're building a power plant, are we? We need to pay Marty one. And does he want it back for the research? Or does he want it out there? No, he's going to put it on Stockholm because forestation is the other type that he's got being built right now. So I need to pay my two cubes. I need to sell a CEP and get six and then pay an extra three. And then this can go here with my disc on it. Because if Marty had built this, the, the kind that they want up here at the top would trump my, uh, my biomass, which they're, they're quite happy with, but they really, really, really want cold fusion. They love it in Europe, they love it. So that goes away. I get myself seven points. Oh, that's Marty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then expertise. So I can put a CEP in a region I control. I think now I'm completely safe in Europe. The maximum you can have is the number of spaces though. So Europe is maxed out there. And yeah, I think that is it for the decade. So new decade, we're into the nineties now. And income, now this is gonna be really good for me and bad for Marty. I'm getting three, seven, I think 11. And I have no money. I'm going to take it. I've got a comfortable lead and no money. I'm gonna take it all as money. So five, 10, 11 money. Marty is in the lead here. Two, five, not in the lead, not in the lead, zero. So he's getting five, but he is loaded. So I think he is just gonna have all of the points to try and catch up a bit. Oh, he needs to pass this back to me. And I'm now first. So I've got a lot of money. There's no project out there. Oh, we just going straight into the turns, aren't I? Supply energy, there are no cubes on the regions. That happens, by the way, because of events. That's why it's not happened yet, because we haven't had events. So let's see, we're in the third decade. Regions need three power plants. So Europe's okay, South America's okay, North America's okay, Oceania has resorted to fossil fuel because we've been stalling on that forestation plant. That's 40, one, two, three, four. We're gonna have events. Asia, same although we didn't even propose something there. That's another 40. One, two, three, four. 400 we're at now. Now, the game's not going to end right now, but it means we need to do some serious work, and that's another 20 in Africa. Okay, we are at 420. The game ends if it reaches 500. And currently, all regions now need another power plant for next round. Okay. Yeah, the game might just end. Oh well, that's, uh, that's for being too argumentative with each other. So what do we do now? We need to do an event. This should have been changing. So in round two, it was South America and you're supposed to see ahead that it was Europe next time. So in round three, it's Europe. And next time it's gonna be Asia. So we look at the events. The CO2 is above 350, so the event happens. Who supplied energy to Europe? Me, okay. People without power plants in the region that the event's happening in need to pay a cube or lose two points. So Marty has to pay a cube to Europe and people doing projects in Europe now, construction projects can use this cube towards it. If they don't at the beginning of the next supply phase though, it just gets gobbled up. Okay, now we're having turns. So on the one hand, Africa can now, if something gets built in Africa, this power plant gets replaced and we go down 30 on the pollutionometer. At the same time though, Africa isn't going to be taken into account. Africa's fully supplied now energy wise and isn't going to be building any more fossil fuel stuff. Now I would like to swoop in and take Marty's forestation for him, but I haven't got any cubes or enough expertise in forestation. So I think we're going to propose some and attempt to swoop in on North America. We're going to attempt one here. Although it's the most expensive thing. If we want to get a lot of things built, forestation is not the way to go, but it's the way I'm going. I'm getting two cubes for it. I'm going to put my scientist on and I'm going to get myself an expertise. Marty's first turn, he's going to finally build his... Oh no, he's not got a cube now. He had to spend a cube on the, on the thing. So does he... So he's not in danger. I can't, I can't swoop in yet. So he's going to stay where he is and he's going to propose something else for the cubes. Because as soon as he builds that forestation plant, he wants to claim a card, which needs a cube as well. So what sh what's he going to propose? I think maybe the cheapest thing possible, because then hopefully we can get it built. He's actually going to propose solar. 
Actually, proposing solar in here, now I've got two things in there, it wouldn't really make a difference. And solar isn't cheap. He's going to propose some recycling here in Africa, so he can get himself some cubes. That's two cubes. Scientist goes out. So does he want some recycling points or keep going with the forestation? I think keep going with the forestation. Okay, where are we? Marty's had his turn, he went second, didn't he? We're on to turn two. What am I doing? I can install my thing here, but I am gonna need more cubes. Oh, this should be the other way around because it's only been proposed. I need more cubes as well. So am I just proposing more stuff as well? I'm gonna propose solar. Oh, I got rid of the card that wanted me to build solar. Just sold it a bit risky because Marty could always install this and get three cubes out of the bargain. I'm going to propose it there. Let's see what he does. So I put my thing out there. I'm going to get myself two cubes. And I'm going to take my expertise in forestation so I can catch up. Because now I can build forestation. So if Marty does want to swoop in and take my three cubes, I'm going to build his forestation plant. Okay, then Marty is going to go for the forestation. Seeing that floor in his plan. So the cheapest forestation plant is $12. Bargains, these power plants, aren't they? And three cubes. It's going in there with his disc on it. He is in control of Oceania. This is going away. He is going to go to a conference in Stockholm. And his card, he's just sent a scientist to talk at the summit about forestation. He's going to get himself an extra expertise in forestation now. He gets an expertise, as <laughs> so he gets a CEP into a region he controls. He is happiest with, I think, Oceania now, because that's the best one to have. And then he gets another one for building the power plants. Now, this symbol means you can have an expertise in any topic you like. And I think he's going to go for, I think he's going to go for solar, so that I'm at risk with my solar plant. And victory points, of course, he gets 10. Okay then, so we're on turn three. What am I gonna do? I wanted to install that. If I installed that, Marty, could Marty get 10? Three, four, five, six, seven. He's got some CEPs. I don't know this, but he's still got a card that gives him a cube. Oh, he wants expertise as well at the end of his turn, doesn't he? He's having recycling, because that's the only scientist that's out. So, yeah, I don't think he can swoop in with the forestation though on the plus side I think sorry to keep going backwards and forwards but yeah he was going to claim this card as well wasn't he with his remaining cube uh, so he gets six points there and another UN goal one two three four five six and the person with the most UN goals gets some points at the end the person with the most cubes gets some points at the end so now we can see that he's got no cubes I think we're safe to install this and we don't want him installing it either which would get him some uh, lovely cubes so let's get three now. Tons of resource cubes for the future. We need to pay a CEP. Uh, let's pay it from Europe because we can't add any to Europe at the moment. And for my and for my expertise, do I want solar or forestation? I want solar so that I can build the thing. And another thing I'm forgetting, subtitles are going haywire, I'm sure. Marty's summit. So forestation. Nuclear, and he'll take nuclear again to get himself a resource cube. He gets those back, and new summit will be in Geneva. It's back to his turn. Does he want to build solar? He's got a cube now. He's going to do it, I think. He's going to sell a CEP. That's going to get him five. Price goes down. He needs to pay me one to get rid of my scientist. I'm going to send that scientist... Oh, to Zurich, that could be really good. He has to pay two cubes, so he's gonna give up this card to get a second cube. So that's two cubes paid, and five, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's He's got one money left, but he has swooped in effectively. He gets in there, he gets himself a an expertise. I forgot the word then. And he gets himself eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he's got a scientist left on here. 
So he gets himself a recycling expertise, which gives him a forestry one, which lets him put a CEP in a region he controls, which is now going to be here because Asia is pretty secure for him now. He's got two types of plant going on. Turn four. What's my plan? Loads of cubes. Loads of things going on. I think Marty is absolutely skint, so... I'm going to propose... I'm going to install my plant over here. Let's see, let's spend something from South America. I get myself two CEPs, so the market needs to be refilled and the price goes up a little bit. And that's that. Marty, yep, pretty forlorn that I am going to take North America from him, really but he can still get stuff done. He's going to pay a CEP from North America if he sees it going away. And he's gonna install over here to get some money and a CEP. And he'll get some expertise as well, won't he? In there. Oh, I should have, I should have had some expertise in forestry. Turn five. So I want to just get my forestry thing built, I think. We need power plants built to stop the world going... Stop the world falling over. But I think it might still fall over. Because Marty hasn't got the cubes to be able to build this one. But really... It would be helping us out if we get this out and 30 goes away and only 20 comes in over here. Then we would have made 10. But as it is... I think putting a power plant here, only one power plant's gonna come out actually in South America. So I think we're in control. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with my selfish plan. So it's three tech cubes, 12 money. And it's getting built in North America. I get 10 points for that, so 43 and an expertise, which I'm going to put in Europe. I get a CEP, by the way, <laughs> you can see that symbol. And so where are we? Pay for power plants, claim ownership, victory points and expertise, return project to the pool, and he can go to Zurich there and get, get me some expertise. We check for region control. We've each got one source of energy, but North America wanted mine more. So sorry, Marty, I am now in charge in North America energy wise anyway. I can't get any expertise at the end of my term, but I have sent all of my scientists to the Zurich conference. So I'm going to get a forestation and a solar. And I can have one or the other. I'm going to go for forestation, I think. And get a CEP in one of my regions. Let's do South America. So they come back to me. Conference is done with. And one comes out in Lisboa. Ooh. Okay, Marty's last turn of the decade, not of the game. He would absolutely love to build that power plant and make the world a slightly better place, but he has no cubes. So he's gonna be proposing something for cubes, I think. Oh, do I fit into any of these now? I've done this one or this one, haven't I? Have I done this? Call to, yes, I'm gonna claim this on my turn, by the way, stepping back in time for a second and get myself some seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm 50 there. I think Marty's gonna propose another recycling. Where does he wanna propose it? He wants some different energy types though, doesn't he? He's gonna propose... He's just worried if he, pro if he proposes things in regions he doesn't want to lose, they might get built without him. He's gonna propose it here in South America. Or actually, that's a new type here, isn't it? You have two different types. Maybe you can take North America back or just secure me getting it. So he's going to get two cubes for placing it in this grant space, which is what he needs to be able to construct next time. And he's going to spend a cube to claim a card because he has done this one, hasn't he? Yeah, he's done forestation. He did solar recently. He did biomass at the start of the game. Yep, seven points. One, two, and five up there. So I have to be worried now because, yeah, Marty's just hoovering up all of these. I wanted five of them and got get 15 points. But, yeah, 
But to be fair to Marty, I am taking... We should swap these goals, really, because I'm in control of more of these tracks, I think. Okay, end of Marty's turn. He can go up on Cold Fusion or Recycling. And I think he'll take the Fusion, so he can take uh, Joint Control. And he gets a CEP in a region he, he owns. He can have another one up here. It's just That's the last one he can put up there. And it's the end of the decade, so we go into the 2000s. We enter the Willennium. And what do we do? We swap the first player and we do income. So Marty's, Marty's actually in the lead on loads of these. Five, 10, 11, not there, 15 he's gonna get. He's going to take, he's tempted to have the whole thing in money and not have to worry about money. He's gonna try having the whole thing in money. How about that? I'm gonna get myself, not in the lead, not in the lead, four, five, nine. So yeah, not, not terrible, is it? And I've got no money, but I'm behind on points. I'm gonna to have to take the nine money, I think. Supply energy, any region with a cube in it spends that cube, so that's gone away. And we look, we're in decade four, so Europe's fine. South America, though, needed energy. They went for oil, which polluted us 10, 20, 30. 450 we're on now, so we are at risk, but every other region is fine. Africa doesn't have four, but it can never have four. We don't have to worry about Africa anymore. And so in the next round, we aren't gonna to have to worry about Oceania or South America either. So Marty would love to build his plant there, but he's got no cubes. Well, he's only got one cube and every power plant now, they get more expensive cube wise. They get less money, but more cubes. So what is the plan? He needs more cubes. So he needs to propose something in a cube space. Or he could install his nuclear there. And yeah, then I'd probably just build it. Yeah, he's gonna propose solar to try and tempt me to install it, I think. He's gonna propose solar in Oceania and he gets himself two cubes. He's gonna spend a cube straight away on claiming this card now. He's got all those types, hasn't he? He's claimed recycling before, so I hope so. Yeah, there's a recycling of his. Six points, and now he has secured himself the majority because there's only seven in a four player, in a two player game. Gets himself six points. And it's my turn. Yeah, I am gonna claim the last UN card, I think. While it's still there. So I have got those types. Yep, so I get six points. And so yeah, we can't worry about that anymore. I, maybe I should propose some things. Marty should have some expertise, shouldn't he? He's gonna go for solar. Okay, my turn. Tempting to just build Marty's plant in Africa there. It is only six points though. I think I am gonna install there and get all of those cubes. I'm gonna pay Marty one to move his scientist. Where is he gonna move it? He he could just get the solar. But I think he's, yeah, Roma seems nice. He's, he's already got one on recycling there. We've been quite lucky that two two topic projects have kept coming out. There is a mixture in there and there are there are fours in there that haven't come out. I think, isn't Geneva the hardest one? No, there's a Moscow that's a four there. Geneva's a three. These twos are quite easy to get hold of yourself. So I'm gonna install this. I'm gonna get myself three tech cubes and I need to pay a CP. Since I might lose North America, I'm gonna pay it from there. Okay, turn two. Marty, he's got his cubes now, so he can do things. He wants to install his plant in Africa, I think. Yeah, he only has to pay six. He can afford that very easily. Two cubes is all of his cubes, sadly. But that's gonna be six more points. So he's on 17 now. And another expertise, which means another CEP in a region he controls. Oh, I've just knocked things. Okay, we're gonna to have to guess where I was. I think I was there. I definitely wasn't in the lead. I think I was there. Let's say I was there. Okay, so what's happening? That's really thrown me off. So now we get rid of the most 
the earliest polluting thing and bring the pollution of the world down. And now Marty's plant can go in there instead. He's now in charge of Africa and he gets himself, he's had the points, he's had the expertise, hasn't he? I think that's how this whole mess started. And he needs to put a CEP in a region he controls. So it will be, he can't because Asia's full, Oceania's full and yeah. He, has an in he wasn't in charge of Africa yet. That's the last thing we do. I keep messing up the order of it. Uh, we reduce the CO2 level. The region earns a CEP though, because he got rid of a bad plant. And yeah, his guy can go off to Roma and they can get a load of expertise going here. So we've got a solar, which gets him a cube, which is brilliant. And a recycling, which gets him anywhere. So he will go for cold fusion, which gets him another one anywhere. And then go for... It's tempting to try and catch up on biomass here. He'll go for solar again and hope to get another cube. So his scientists come back. He gets another cold fusion at the end of his turn as well, doesn't he? And a new summit is coming out in Madrid there. Another two. Okay. So that's Marty's second turn. What am I going to do? Am I going to go for that solar? It wouldn't give me control of that region, would it? I think I'm going to swoop in and install his project here. Just to kick him off. So my scientist can go on there. He, he's just going to take the scientist back to his hand and have the expertise right off the bat and get a CEP in a region he controls. Oh, that can't have four in it. <laughs> All of his regions are full. He needs more regions. So I need to pay a CEP from a region I control. Let's do this one in case I lose it. Because once you can build this, I'm going to get myself $5 in a cube. Marty can't do anything about it because he hasn't got any cubes. So again, he's just going to have to keep proposing things to try and get cubes. And he doesn't really mind what. What's he behind on? He's behind on biomass, so I think he'll propose one of those. Although he can't do it in Oceania because he, he already proposed that for the cubes, didn't he? He'll do it in Asia. We need power plants in Asia. He gets himself two cubes. That should be the other way around. He puts his guy on there and... He can have an expertise in biomass now. I'm going to build my power plant here, I think. My nuclear one. So that's going to be three cubes. Nine dollars. I'm going to get myself nine points. So I'm 15 there. And an expertise in it, which gets me an expertise in something else. I will go for forestry, which gives me another point somewhere else. Let's... Let's try, let's go here and keep trying to get in front. So I'm in the front on something. This goes back to the pool and I'm still in charge of the region. Just, just about. Uh, he can go off to a, he can go off to Madrid actually, because I've got a solar one coming up there. Turn four, Marty. He wants to keep this thing going. He's going to spend a CEP from Asia to, ah, to install this one, he gets himself $3 and a cube and a CEP, which drives the price of them up. And he gets an expertise there, which gives him one in forestry, which he can't use. Then for me, I would love to swoop in, but I haven't got the money unless I want to give up on my goal, which is nine points. I think I'd better try and propose a project in Europe, although it's too late, isn't it, to get one built in here. Yeah, I'm going to be a bit liable for that. If I want to get that solar one built, I'm going to need some cash. I'm going to propose a recycling here. I haven't got any scientists. Oh, that's not going to earn me anything then, is it? Unless I want to bring him off solar. Nah, it just might get snapped away. I'm just not going to put a scientist on. So that's five, because there's five CEPs there. We're on to turn five now. Marty could swoop in and have that power plant. Although having the solar plant isn't going to lose him Oceania. He's going to carry on with the plan, I think. And build biomass over here. 
just so there's a plant ready in Asia. So the next biomass plant is eight money. He's got tons. Eight money. Two cubes of the three that he has. And that's going to go up there with one of his discs on it. This guy is going to... Shall we go Paris? That goes back. Gets himself seven points. And a biomass expertise. Yeah, I think that's that. And I'm going to build my solar plant, I think. Marty could have swept in and done. I've only got 10 money, so I'm spending that. And my two cubes. So we get rid of the oldest power plant, which does mean, one, two, three, four, that, yeah, it's getting, it's getting a lot better, isn't it, for cubage. I think, actually, I skipped the event phase. It will have been subtitled. I skipped the event phase, I think and should have put a cube in Asia, which would help Marty out. He would he would have that cube now because he saved one. I think I'm fixing that. The subtitles might be flashing up now to say that I'm very wrong, but yeah, that's happening. So, where are we now? I built a lovely plant in Oceania. I'm gonna get myself eight points. And I get myself an expertise. I'm not in control, though, because we've got one type each, and Marty's type is better. He can come to Madrid, though, and I get a solar, which gets me a cube, a cold fusion, which catches me up a little bit, and, since this is the very end of the round, I'd better take, uh, I'd better take cold fusion, which gives me a CEP in a region I control. Let's go for here. And that means that, yeah, I'm tied on a good one, so I'll get... I'll get some money or points as well as Marty. So Madrid is fully summited and New Delhi will be next. And we move on to the next one. So I'm gonna be first player for the last round. What else? Distribute income. So Marty's. Distribute income. Mine is just five, five, 10. I've got no money, so I'd better take it as money, I think. Marty has 5, 11, 16, 25. He's in, he's in the lead on all of them now, tied or not. 25, and he's got 12 money. He's going to take 10 more money and then have 15 points, I think. Yeah, this could be really bad for me. 10, 15 points. Okay. Then what? We go on to supply energy. So Europe hasn't got five in it. It resorts to fossil fuels. And I realise, I realised this in the middle of the last round, that I may have been forgetting to do this the entire game, which does mess things up, I think. But yeah, it's too late to go back. When a region builds a fossil fuel plant, if it is controlled by someone, they are in charge of paying for it, CEP-wise. Or it would just lose a CEP if it was just generically. So I'm going to pay one from Europe, let's say, for here. And I think that's the only one that needs to be built. Yep, so pollution goes up 20. The event's happening in North America. We both have power plants in North America, so nobody needs to pay anything, and we can get on with the final actions of the game. I'm gonna start off by paying a CEP, I think, and installing this, and I can put my scientist on it. So I'm gonna get myself $5 and a CEP from here, and I get myself an expertise in recycling. Now Marty really doesn't wanna build it because it would help me out. He wants someone to join him in Paris. He's going to propose a solar. He's going to propose it in Oceania again, I think. He wants the cubes. So he gets himself two cubes. And he can get an expertise in solar, which gets him another cube. Perfect. He's got loads now. And loads of money, loads of CPs, loads of everything. Turn two. Do I want to build this? It would help the world out a little bit. I could do Marty's. It would send him straight to his place. And because he's proposed solar, if I even get this built, I've still only got one type on there. And then it would go on expertise. And Marty's got much more expertise in forestry than I've got in solar. It goes on expertise next. I think then I'm going to propose biomass in Africa and hope to take control of that. Get myself two cubes. 
and put a scientist on, just checking out how the scientist there, because I, I panicked for a second, I didn't think I did. I can get a CEP, so let's have one there. Where are we now? Is that everything? Yeah, do I want fusion, or do I want biomass knowledge? It's, oh, I can, I can have biomass, which would give me fusion, which would give me forestry. So that works out okay, I'm happy with that. Should be the other way around, shouldn't it? Marty's gonna pay me one and install that from underneath me. He needs to pay a CEP, he'll do it from a region he controls. I can go onto some biomass place. I think I'm just gonna take it back at this late stage and get the last expertise I need in that uh, field anyway. He'll put his scientist on and get himself $3, a cube, and a CEP and drive the price up once more. Two new ones come out. Turn three, he can have biomass or solar. I think he will have solar. And then he will go up here on uh, Cold Fusion again, just to be in the lead. Although being in the lead doesn't really matter now, as long as he's tied, that's fine. So maybe then he'll take biomass to try and catch up a bit more. He gets a CEP in a region he controls. And turn three. I think I'm actually gonna swoop in. Yeah, I'm gonna give Marty one. Although, yeah, he gets to go to Paris, doesn't he? I'm sending his guy to Paris if I kick him off uh, Oceania there. Oh, he's actually, I don't know if he was thinking about this, but he, he shouldn't have done that with his biomass. I'm gonna build a biomass plant. I'm gonna pay him a dollar, which I just did. I kick him off this. And yeah, it's gonna cost me eight. So I'll get two change. And two cubes. We remove this, so that's gonna lower the pollution 40. Marty is just gonna come back and have the expertise, I think. He's gonna have it there again, so he's in the lead. I put my disc out there. I get seven points, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an expertise, but I'm already in the lead there, so that's a bit of a downer on it. But the region earns a CEP, and my energy type is better than his, so I am now in control of Africa, which is nice for having control of these CEPs. That's some more money and potentially more points at the end of the game. Marty then, he's sensing that I'm not gonna help him out in Oceania, so I think he's going to have to do it himself. He's going to spend a CEP. He gets three cubes though, which is good. Oh, at the end of my turn, I could have had an expertise in recycling. Marty now gets one in solar. Turn four, very close to the end now. Let's see. Well, I think I want to build, I do want to build this because it's going to benefit me. And Marty's put off from giving me a CEP, although it would get him some points. I'm worried Marty will build it from under me, because I do want to, to, to make sure that I keep getting some expertise at the end of every turn. I want another scientist out somewhere before I build this, but being worried that Marty's gonna do it anyway. Oh, I've only got one cube though. So I do need to propose something else. Let's propose some forestation in Africa. It's too late, I think. Yeah, it's second to last turn. It's too late to get it built. Let's propose that so I can get two cubes. Marty, I think, has decided that it is beneficial, I think, to do this. He's gonna pay me one to kick him off there. I'm just gonna take, yeah, I'm just gonna take the, the bonus and let's have the CEP in there from the, the expertise bonus there. He's gonna build this plant. It's gonna cost him $6, but he, he's got so much money. $6, two cubes, but look at the cube, it's ridiculous. And he gets rid of this one. Gets himself an expertise and six points. Two, three, four, five, six. And the region gets a CEP, which is what he didn't want to happen. Oh, I didn't take that last CEP on here from the market. Market goes up, refills. And we reduce the CO2 level by 40. One, two, three, four. 
And so we've now returned to the safe zone. If the game was lasting another round, it would end this round. But it's the end anyway in a two-player game. So we are now on the final turn of the game. So if I want to get something done, points-wise, I could get some more CEPs by, by installing that. But if I want something built, I need to build in Oceania. But it costs four cubes. Oh no, so I can't do that. So is my best bet? It would, it would only earn me one CEP. Earning six money is better than eight money in a CEP. I'm actually, I'm just gonna propose something. Let's propose another recycling. Let's do it here and get two cubes. I'm hoping Marty's spending his cubes and that I can have majority. So I am going to get an expertise in here so I can move up. Let's see, where could I move up that was useful? Oh, I can move up here so that Marty wouldn't be in the lead anymore. Marty's final turn then. It's going to be to build that solar plant because I think it's still effective for him. He's going to spend his four cubes and eight money. So he's going to get two back. Discard the oldest polluting plant. He gets 10 points. So he's got five there, 10. And he gets an expertise in solar, which gets him a CEP in a region he controls. He's going to get one in there anyway. Oh, he's going to lose a CEP because he only controls two regions. Then reduce the CO2 level. It only goes down by 20. We got rid of a gas plant. Region earns a CEP because we got rid of an old plant, but he can't. And this goes back. He's going to send his scientist to Paris. And so he's going to get solar he can't use, biomass he can't use, biomass he can't use. So what a waste. <laughs> that, was, that was a big build up for nothing, wasn't it? Anyway, that's the last turn of the game, isn't it? Okay then. So now we can move on to end game scoring. And obviously this is a bit wonky because there should be fewer CEPs out there because they, the region should have been paying for their own fossil fuel plants. But anyway, you know that, don't you? You gather your CEPs into your hand from regions you control. Whilst he's still getting a hefty amount of them though. Sell all your CEPs to the market at the current price and do not adjust the market price. Because there isn't that much money available and all the CEPs are eight at the moment, I'm just going to convert them straight into, they're worth, they're worth eight money each. Each two money is worth a point, so they're basically worth four points each. I'm just gonna add the points on. So 68 points for Marty. So that's 50. 60, five, six, seven, eight. And actually the exact same for me. That's strange. 50, 60, eight. Distribute income to all players and it's all players now, not just the people in the lead. So of course you'd want it as points rather than money, wouldn't you? Uh, so unless you had a goal that wanted you to have a lot of money, I suppose. So Marty is getting five, 12, 19, 25, 30 points. So let's actually take 20 off him and give him another 10. Uh, we're gonna have to use one of his discs from somewhere. Let's run out of discs. We could just actually just use one disc, couldn't we? He's got 200 there. There we go. And I get 10, 17, 26, which is more reasonable, isn't it? So two and 24. We've done that. Company goals, UN goals to be are worth three extra points each. So that's an extra nine points for me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Marty wanted to be in control of as many tracks as possible. He is in the lead on four of the five, but that's his max anyway. He couldn't be in, he couldn't get the points for all five. So that's 16 points. So what's he on now? Three, he's on 19. Play with the most cubes in hand. That's me, gets three points. Play with the most UN goals, which is Marty, gets three points. So that cancels itself out. And so, yeah, almost lapping me. Marty is on 222. I am on 186. 
So yeah, quite a difference there, although there was that mistake that I remember about the regions not paying for their CPs. But anyway, this is just meant to give you an idea. I hope it gives you an idea of what CO2 is like and if you would be interested in finding out more and maybe playing it yourself. If you'd like to know what I think, you can click over here. But thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.